Good Things Utah. Richard Hatch is joining us today. He's been hungry this morning. Hungry. And he's excited. And Chocolate. this is a segment for you. Wendy Paul, author mm. of 101 Gourmet mm. Cupcakes in 10 Minutes, is here. So yeah. glad you're here. Thank you. It's good to be here. This is your first book. My first book. But not your first cupcake. I'll say not that. Not my first cupcake. <laughs> <She is laughs> good at making these. Yeah. Thank God. We were emailing back and forth about what cupcake to make. Mm -hmm. And I said, I have about six favorites, Wendy. You're going to have to pick your favorite because there are so many good cupcakes in this book. So I don't know if I could limit it to just one favorite because it's like asking me what child is my favorite. Right, I'm with you. So <laughs> I picked one that's probably one of the most popular requested mm -hmm. ones for me to make. It's the chocolate peanut butter cup. Ooh. And it There's is actually it's wonderful. peanut butter cups Yum. in yeah. the cupcakes. Yum. Which it's baked is right thrilling. inside the cupcake. So, so I should, shouldn't eat this one right now, right? Um, it's going to go in well, the cupcake. Okay. You can if you want, but it tastes really good in the cupcake. So okay, Richard says he is, you know, has prowess in the kitchen. Okay, so we're going to put Richard to work here. All right, so simple, it takes just a few minutes. Okay, mm. first, um, Richard, if you want to grab the cake mix, all right. you this just makes use, it easy, right? I'm really good at this. Okay, See, you, just you just open dump it up, it all in? dump it all in, all the whole in. thing. Okay. Dump the whole thing in. You just use a cake mix. That's how every single cupcake is started. With cake mix, add the milk and the eggs. Oops, it's all right. See, it's so simple. That's how good I, I am. Spilled milk. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, and it's you really just add it all together. Huh? Add you it all together. Okay. Yep. All right. See how easy it is. Your kids can get into the kitchen and really help because, you know, they're so quick and easy and gourmet. And, you know, if you spill a little milk, it's not a big deal. <sighs> I know. Doesn't it smell so good? It smells delicious, Can't doesn't it? Richard, would you say that Wendy has found her? Like place that she know, knew what to do with the next step to take her career you, to the next level. You look you like think? a cupcake. I mean, oh. when I say that, you, no, you, she looks delicious, doesn't she? She does. Thank you. Thank you. Her husband's here, Richard. I know. Be careful. He's he's over there. So so be nice. <laughs> but I know karate. I'll fend him off. Yeah, you fend him off. Okay. Right. So after you're done mixing it, you know it's really forgiving. It's okay if there's a little bit of lumps. You know that's kind of how cake mixes anyway. Right. All right. So my favorite tool with these cupcakes is a scoop because it lets you get the same amount in oh, each bin, right? I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, so they're all going to be even all at the end. So that looks great, Richard. You did a good job. Okay, so you're going to take just a little bit, like maybe a tablespoon, a little bit less, put them in each liner, all right? Oh, and you're not really spilling with that guy either. No, you don't get a lot of dribbles and a lot of misses. with the spoon, misses. you know how mm -hmm. you get it all over the place? Yeah, okay. So... And then that's when are the cupcakes going to come in? I mean, are the peanut butter yes. cups at this okay, point? Yes. Okay, this is where you put the peanut butter cup in. You unwrap it, of course, if you guys want to each grab some. Okay, okay, cool. And just set it right in the middle and kind of press down just a little bit to secure it. You have got to be kidding me. Look no, at this. This, is, this, oh, is this is so good. Awesome. Okay, so you just do that to each one, right? Okay. Okay. And make sure you have extra peanut butter cups because you will eat some as uh, you're putting them in the bowl. Good tip. All right. Good tip. And then what you do is you just take a little bit more batter, maybe another tablespoon to two, and you just top it off. Look how easy that is. That's really easy. All right. So you're just going to top it off so they're all about the same height. You're going to do that with all of them. And then your next step is to bake. All right. So you just throw them in the oven, 350 degrees, 15 to 18 minutes till they're done. Richard, do you want to grab what's in the oven? The I bottom oven there? Do, do we have a hot okay. pad for right. you there to the There's left. a hot pad Don't right to the left. Is this hot? Yeah, here, gra grab Both that. Is oh. it hot? Okay. Okay. Is this supposed to be hot? No. <laughs> You're kind of out of this world. You got it. Okay. okay, so bring them on up. Okay. You have special okay. powers, Richard. Okay. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. these Thank are the cupcakes. You. And a handy little gadget in the kitchen is a spatula like this because look how easy they pop out. And so you recommend okay. definitely doing them in the little cups because yes, that do. just makes it easy. I do. The cups are easy. And there's all kinds of brands, colors, any kind like that. So let's move on to the frosting, okay? So what oh, we're going to do really twist my is, arm. of course, you have butter because butter makes everything better, right? Yeah, okay. we're not doing low-fat, people. We're, we're doing gourmet. We're not doing low-fat. We're doing gourmet. <laughs> and you want it to I'm taste you. good because you if you're going to eat the course. calories, you want mm. it to look good. All right, mm. and taste good. Okay, here. We put some powdered mm. sugar, some milk, and then, of course, the cocoa. And this is just a basic buttercream frosting. And we're going to turn it on here. And you want to go slow at first so you don't make a big mess. Look what I did for us, Richard. I think this is where the art is, decorating the cupcakes, mm -hmm. you know? Look what okay. I did. I put some oh, in here you. that we could eat. Look. <laughs> I can't believe it. The batter, right? Because that's so delicious. Oh, man. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm. you guys eat the batter mm. while we're whipping up this mm. frosting. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna have to lick How many the calories too. is one little cupcake? You know what? I have never calculated it out because I don't want to know. Mm -mm. That's not important. It's probably, you know, 
Well, that's why you just eat one, well, I, right? I feel guilty. I go out, I work out, Don't I feel guilty. Work off as many calories as I can. All right, there is one okay. in here that I loved so much, too. Mm. I say one, mm. there was like a couple, but oh. there's a pina okay. colada cupcake. Oh, yes, the pina guy. colada is really, really good. Pina colada. Look at the picture of that. Ooh. Okay. And she also has key lime. Key lime she pie. Has, uh, pineapple upside down. I mean, really, you have a just lot of amazing, really amazing cupcakes. Look at that whipped buttercream frosting. Okay. So here's a trick that I do. I use just a gallon Ziploc bag, and you just put your frosting in there, okay? That's going to help you to spread it on and make it look really professional, and it's not a big cost. It's very, very inexpensive, all right? So we're going to put that whipping or that frosting in here. You just fold it back up. I like to seal it with the air out so that it's easier to apply. And then okay. you're just going to squeeze it on top of the We're cupcakes? just going to cut oh, an end yeah. off, or just a corner off, and I'm going to use this little knife here real quick. It's really, really high tech. So high tech right now. <laughs> okay. So high tech, all right? And then you refrigerate so, that. Yep, right. you can refrigerate too. Richard, would you like to do the honors of frosting the cupcake? Oh, that's what you're going to do. Okay. Oh, I see. So do you, you twist the bag? Ah. Are you good at baking? I, I mean, was what never you a baker. You just, no, no. You just cook and throw I in. Cook. And throw. I try to stay okay. with the dessert. I'll show you how one's done. I'm a sugar holly. Okay. You know, okay, while you're, bite, you gone. do that. Oh, sorry. sorry. There oh, you go. Oh, look how pretty that does look pretty. Wow. There you go. And then okay. what's the drizzle okay. you put on top? The drizzle is so simple. It's just a little bit of peanut butter that you warm up in the microwave just for 15, 20 seconds and stir until it's runny. And it does burn easily, so you just need to watch it. 15, 20 seconds, mm -hmm. that's 15, it. 15, 20 seconds, and, and then, then you, you drizzle just drizzle right over the top. <laughs> there I you mean, go. Can you believe it? Where it do looks, you get this it book, looks dangerous. Wendy? It's available at Barnes and Noble, Desert Book, Siegel Book, online at Barnes and Noble, Amazon.com. And 10 minutes. Yep. I mean, it's so easy to whip together these gorgeous gourmet cupcakes. Thank what you. book are you working on now? Or can you say? Well, I don't know if I can say, but I do have another one in the works. You have so, another one yeah. in the works. Another one in okay. the works. For this recipe, log on to our website, abc4.com. Just click on Good Things Utah or call 975-4443. Press 2 for recipes. Wendy, Paul, I love it. Thank you. So good. Thank we'll you. have to take a bite in the break so we We will, talk. and we brought some enough for the whole audience. Oh, you oh, did. Wow. Yay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we are going to talk to you, Richard. All right, about, about time. Life.